Today on Lisa's List, we're gonna to go to a fabulous breakfast place here in Charleston, so stay tuned. <music> Welcome to Lisa's List. I'm Lisa Patterson with Daniel Revenel Sotheby's International Realty here in beautiful historic Charleston, South Carolina. And today on Lisa's List, we are going to go to an amazing breakfast place. Everyone knows that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and I started mine off right today with a fabulous breakfast from Big Bad Breakfast on Meeting Street. I had had their food at a couple of breakfast meetings um, where they were serving their breakfast burritos, which are fabulous. And I had questioned where the food came from, and they told me Big Bad Breakfast. Every time I went by there, it was pretty busy, so I knew something exciting was happening there, and I needed to go and check it out, so I did today. Um, they have locations. They have one here in Charleston. They have locations in Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Florida. And they are owned by award-winning, James Beard award-winning chef, John Currents, and he's also written a couple uh, cookbooks. John grew up in New Orleans where his life was pretty much surrounded by food as it is in New Orleans, uh, similar to here in Charleston. And um, he wanted to take breakfast to the next level. He said when he was growing up, he would have these um, family meals. He's, uh, he'd have breakfast, uh, whether it be at his grandmother's house or just with his family or at a counter at a drugstore or other different locations. And he wanted those memories to stay alive and in his food. Um, he said within the chef community of people that he knew, uh, everyone talked about breakfast, but no one wanted to put their name on it. So he did and took it, as I said, to the next level. And he's done an amazing job. Uh, I went in today, I had heard about different things that they had. The menu is uh, unbelievable. All the different things that they have and variations, uh, two pages full of stuff. I had a hard time deciding. But, you know, as a child growing up, my grandmother always made sausage gravy over biscuits. So that's what I tried today. The biscuits were unbelievable. They were huge. They were fluffy. The sausage gravy was great. The sausage had just a little spice. And then I had heard about this spicy bacon that he makes. Uh, it has in the restaurants. So you can actually buy that bacon to take home as well as their sausage patties. And the spicy bacon was unbelievable. I've never had anything like it. Uh, as I said, they're located on Meeting Street. They're not right downtown in the historic district. So if you are visiting Charleston, just make sure to put it on your list and find them. Um, they have inside dining, outside dining. Uh, it was just an interesting place. They also have uh, different things. You can buy t-shirts and hats and things like that in there as well. And um, just make sure that when you're in Charleston or if you live here, you need to get over there if you haven't been and make sure to have a big bad breakfast and until next time on Lisa's List.